you guys know how much I love Balenciaga. You know how much I idolize and obsess over Demna. And the fact that I think he's the fucking greatest. Well, he's done a really great thing that split the internet and really made people shake and be incredibly angry because he's decided, he has decided to put together a bracelet that basically mimics the bracelet you get when you go to festivals. So he's made a play on it. And the funny thing about it, I've just realized after getting this website up, it's not part of Balenciaga's ready to wear. This is actually couture. <laughs> this was debuted during the Balenciaga couture collection, which is usually made for the, you know, the highfalutins, elite VIP customers, um, royal family people, celebrities and stuff. And it's always stuff that's been done by hand with cost attention to detail and very low, you know, um, quantities and stuff. And usually isn't sold to the public. So Be Demna had the crazy idea of making a Balenciaga faux festival bracelet that's couture and the price will shock you. The price will shock you. This little piece of fabric is £4,500. <laughs> and I fucking love it. I love the fact that he takes these everyday common objects and he gives them a sprinkling of Balenciaga stardust and elevates them. Because in the couture collection, he was getting a lot of criticism because in the couture collection, he had hoodies, he had t-shirts, he had jeans and stuff that you don't usually see in couture collections. There's usually a lot of, you know, evening wear sort of stuff, a lot of like fashion-y items, but not like streetwear stuff. And he was getting a lot of criticism for that, for putting those type of everyday staples on the level of couture. But I think this takes the biscuit. And I fucking love it. There's something incredibly chic about a faux Balenciaga wristband that's nearly £5,000. Like, that's insane. Legitimately insane. But it's also the kind of thing that I love because only you would know this is 5000 and only people that maybe listen to my show or into fashion themselves. Regular person would just think you're wearing a wristband that you haven't taken off from a festival. I just think you're a bit of a dork or something. But only you would know. No, this is actually this is actually Balenciaga. Someone would just think you went to download festival or something. But this is actually design. So let's read the blurb. The blurb says, Raver bracelet in pink, black, and blue polyester. Actually, <laughs> that's the funny thing too. He's selling you polyester for five thousand pounds. Yo, but Demner is a G. Metalized polyester, cotton and sterling silver, 925, is from Balenciaga's 53rd Couture Collection. It's made in France, which is good. At least it's not made in China, but it's still made out polyester. This hand-embroidered bracelet, um, so it's hand-embroidered bracelet, uses various artisanal techniques found in the, Les the Lesage archives dating back to 1850. Seed stitch, drawn thread work, point de boulange satin stitch stem stitch and front and back chain stitching this embroidery style used individually or in combination create a wide range of textures and effects making each piece unique and intricate the manufacturing process requires a full day of work for each piece the size is unique and balanced and fully adjustable so maybe with a blurb it actually sounds way chicer than what it actually appears to be this has allegedly been entirely handmade and sterling silver fastening it's still gonna fray and get all stinky and stained like regular wristbands do but there's something about this that's kind of chic i'm not gonna lie and obviously you got to email for inquiry but a nearly five thousand pounds this is also a symbol of like how commercial and how successful rave culture has got to a level of where now you have you know fashion brands doing stuff like this this shows you that rave culture has gotten to a serious commercial label is we're doing this because I can't wait. I think there's going to be a time. I think there's going to be a time when a major brand decides to make a parody of the iconic Bergheim wristband that you get when you go to the club. If they haven't done it already, someone's definitely going to do a, a rip or a flip on that wristband. It's quite a stiff fabric. It doesn't come off quite easily, but I think there's going to be a time where somebody's going to make a flip of this and decide you know what i'm gonna make my own version of this iconic wrist brand that everybody knows that you get when you go to Bergheim. this is definitely going to be the next step because rave culture has now gone mainstream it's now gone to a place oh look there's me it's now gone to a place 
where people are making couture versions of festival wristbands to kind of show that you went to a festival. Because I think, I know there's a scene of people that do that. I know there's kids that do that, that will go online. Because on eBay, back in the day, I remember particularly when I used to do it myself, because I stopped doing it a long time ago, but I used to always wear like wristbands from previous festivals. Because I think it just looked cool and it was just fun to kind of maybe have like a conversation piece about it. And to be fair, I prefer to wear the festival wristband of a festival I went to as opposed to like the festival t-shirt that commemorates the festival. I thought that was a bit corny. Um, but I'm sure there are people who actually buy festival wristbands off eBay and then just wear them and pretend like they went to a festival. It's sort of like festival stolen valor, which is fucking wild. But I'd much rather that because it shows, you know, you're doing it because you want people to think you're worldly, you're cultured, you have all these travel experiences. It's not like a, it's like one of those kind of good lies. You're doing it to appear more cool, essentially. But I think there comes a point where you just have to stop buying the wristbands from eBay and actually go yourself and attend an event. But I really am curious to see what designer, maybe it's going to be GMBH, who's going to decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to take these and change them. The last time actually I remember wristbands being a big thing, might have been Live Strong, right? That era, that Live Strong era with the yellow wristbands. But nowadays, I feel like the only person who I see wear wristbands on their wrists all the time is I Show Speed. I, and ironically, he loves a wristband. But I think nowadays, kids don't even wear them. I don't think they're that cool. I think that era of like keeping your wristband on after a festival is completely gone. Um, I feel like anyway, I don't really see kids wearing them as much as they did in the past. But Balenciaga are fucking wild for doing this. Uh, 5,000 pounds fake wristband is such a flex and i would love to wear one i'm not gonna lie actually would unironically love to wear one and i love that it's actually annoyed people and made them really pissed off because yeah that's what them is in the business of doing but i also love the fact that he's able to take such a you know i once call it a subculture but take something so mundane and elevate it to this level so big up Demna. check it out if you want it already it's there it's there you know what i'm talking about